I am sitting in a machine different from the one you are using now. I am recording the sound of my speaking voice, and I am going to play it back into the machine's compression algorithm again and again, until the artifacts of the algorithm reinforce themselves, so that any semblance of my speech, with perhaps the exception of rhythm, is destroyed. What you will hear then, are the artifacts of the MP3 encoding process, articulated by speech. I regard this activity, not so much as a demonstration of a digital fact, but more as a way to smooth out any irregularities my speech might have. I am sitting in a machine different from the one you are using now. I am recording the sound of my speaking voice, and I am going to play it back into the machine's compression algorithm again and again, until the artifacts of the algorithm reinforce themselves, so that any semblance of my speech, with perhaps the exception of rhythm, is destroyed. What you will hear then, are the artifacts of the MP3 encoding process, articulated by speech. I regard this activity, not so much as a demonstration of a digital fact, but more as a way to smooth out any irregularities my speech might have. I am sitting in a machine different from the one you are using now. I am recording the sound of my speaking voice, and I am going to play it back into the machine's compression algorithm again and again, until the artifacts of the algorithm reinforce themselves, so that any semblance of my speech, with perhaps the exception of rhythm, is destroyed. What you will hear then, are the artifacts of the MP3 encoding process, articulated by speech. I regard this activity. Not so much as a demonstration of a digital fact, but more as a way to smooth out any irregularities my speech might have.